Water still high in parts of the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys. And as those waters rise, so too do concerns, especially for some communities in Columbiana County. First News Weekend Morning anchor Samantha Bender joins us live from Wellsville with what's being done to protect the village. Good morning, Samantha. Josh, good morning. Yes, Wellsville is taking extra precautions to prevent even more flooding here in the village, putting up a flood wall last night to try and prevent some of that. Now, I want to walk you down to the water. We're here at Yellow Creek, and you can just see, I mean, look at how high these water levels are. There's a path that normally takes you down to this pavilion here behind me, but you can see the path is no longer. It is fully submerged. The wall is up where uh, Wells Avenue meets Lisbon Road. Again, water levels very high here at Yellow Creek, which empties out into the Ohio River. The process takes a lot of manpower and with the river expected to crest at 14.7 feet tomorrow, fire officials wanted to stay ahead of things. Now, Wellsville Fire Chief Barry Podwell says he'd rather be safe than sorry. It took them about two hours to build the flood wall last night. We've had it up in about 90 minutes, a uh, few, not a few years ago, but years ago. Um, but there was water coming across that caught us off guard. And but um, so I don't want to I don't want to do that. The wall was built in the 1930s following devastating floods in the area. Traffic is detoured since the wall is up. We originally were reporting that the wall was supposed to be taken down tomorrow, but since the crest has now increased, I just spoke with officials with the fire department who tell me now the wall isn't expected to be taken down until 10 a.m. on Saturday. A couple of key things to note here. Again, I want to show you this river here. According to our print partner, the morning journal the last time the village had to erect the floodgate was back in the fall of 2004 and again in the spring of 2005 it was almost needed in 2018 the fire department will be posted here on scene 24 7 until the wall comes down so they can respond to calls on this side of town and i actually just spoke with a wellsville police officer who tells me he was down here at yellow creek this morning when he he was down here. The water wasn't even at that buoy here behind me. If you can see it off in the distance, water was to the left. When he returned this morning, he was just shocked to see that it has fully submerged that path. Wellsville schools are closed today. Again, the wall is expected to be taken down at 10 a.m. Saturday. Live in Wellsville, Samantha Bender, First News on Fox. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.